for yourself. This is probably important. So let's get 90-90 right sideline. And now what I want you to do, pay very close attention to the cues I give you. Because this is how I coach it to anyone. So I want them to make sure that they're feeling both heels flat on the wall, 90-90. And they first tuck their hips. So just do a slight posterior pelvic rotation where your hips are rolling underneath yourself. The way I like to cue that is imagine there, your hips are your bowl of water, spill it out the back. But don't slouch, just spill it out the back. And then what I want you to do is you're supporting your head, reach down for the wall with your left arm. So you're reaching down towards the wall, keeping your hips tucked, feeling that heel. Good. Now give me a nice long exhale until you feel your left obliques, your left side abs engage. Notice how I'm going methodically through this, getting the progression. Exhale till you feel those left abs. Now, what I want you to do is inhale through your nose, keeping the tension in your left abs. Shift that left knee back behind the right. It's okay if your hips move a little bit. Then exhale and push down on that ball block, pillow, whatever. And then hold that tension as you exhale. Pause, inhale through your nose. So when you do this, you should feel left obliques, left adductor, maybe a little bit of your glute mean, but not a lot. Make sure that when you do this, you're really focusing on feeling those muscles working together, staying relaxed, long exhales through the mouth, long inhales through the nose. And then you should feel that adductor really start to cook. I know we're going to have someone in here that doesn't feel it. And that's good because it's good to be able to troubleshoot this. Keep reaching, keep exhaling. Get a nice, long breath in and out. It's really hard to keep the tension in your left abs as you inhale. But that's what's important because we're trying to keep it in those left abs because air is a gas that follows the path of least resistance and as we'll talk about next week if you keep your obliques on when you inhale you're going to shove that air into your ribcage all right go ahead